so when when you say metadata and tag both are different entities so whatever the things we are discussing it is not only with s3 it is for each and every services which are available in aws so if you remember even for our, uh, when we are creating ec2 instances we we used to see an option of tax correct and even for auto scaling uh, now when we are implementing auto scaling at the end of your uh, you now or the end stage of your auto scaling creation then we used to have a option of tax then we used to give a name you know tag name and value so and we used to assign the same value to your ec2 instances if you remember right so which means these metadata and tags will help us to improve your object details or bucket details let us see what is metadata metadata is nothing but it's a info it's a data about your data right for example you have some data of let's say you are implementing one website which is a google right and if you are See the actual information is you are implementing a official website of Google, and metadata comes into picture where you are explaining something about Google. Dot. For example, okay, this particular uh, Google server is hosted in US, and this particular um, server has uh, encryption mechanism. So we talk more about the data this is about metadata so under metadata we have two types of metadata one is system uh, defined object metadata and user defined object metadata okay so we'll see that so let's let me try to create a bucket all right uh, so maybe i'm creating in uh, a virginia region and i'm enabling this access control list and making uh, publicly available and i acknowledge the fact that i'm purposely granting a uh, public access and click on create right now on under your bucket come to properties as i promised most of the things will be seen there right so there is going to be metadata we have tags bucket versioning Details about the properties is that some of the already created one metadata. Where can you see the metadata on this? Okay, first we need to create an object. Correct. Sorry. Let's try to create an. Uh, let's try to upload one object. Let me upload one object. Click on add file. And as usual, let's try to upload our data. And please give a public access and also acknowledge. Now let's try to click on properties. You see, yeah, this is a metadata. But let me try to upload a, uh, your object first. And while uploading, it will create some sort of metadata for your object. So oh, I think we should be seeing some options here. Space object first. Where do we have it? So here, under this object, you see this content. This is the metadata. So 
metadata is the optional information so which will be your key value pair which means so see this is the system defined one so whenever i upload some data on your bucket then it does analyze the type of data and it okay so that's the reason we see the it 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 will understand that the user has uploaded a image right and we we can always improve the metadata and it is very good practice as well because we will be describing our data here we will be adding few more information about the data which we have uploaded right so as of now i was uploaded a nature data and i can say hey this picture i have captured in bangalore and uh, when did we capture so uh, we had a plan to visit this particular place and there had to uh, i got a chance to visit this place along with my friends okay so this kind of information so we can add it here so that which will be very much descriptive correct so how to do that see on the object level so just click on the object and i'm just editing this one and as i was saying we we have two types of metadata one is system defined meta metadata system defined in the sense this particular whatever right uh, whatever the content we should select under this particular drop down only for example let me add metadata if i select system defined one then key i should select any of this one for example content language i will say english or i will say oh, okay english i'll just mention right so this is something called a system defined system has defined some characteristics here i should give the value corresponding to this key only but if you select user defined one then this complete user defined uh metadata can be handled by us so there are some prerequisites which are already given and if you want let's say this is the content one whatever so this thing this content i have taken in bangalore so these kind of information so we call as metadata 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 is nothing but it's a information of your data right so this is a information this is the image which i have uploaded and the the uh, the tag whatever i'm creating this will talk more on your data this is about metadata clear so coming to tag it's right so similarly okay let us save this so similarly okay going to edit this close it. so this is about your uh, metadata right so which means you are trying to add some more description to your data right now coming to tags so this is the most important one though it looks very simple we should not neglect neglect this thing trust me why do we need it so if you add tag in your project so you if you are creating some resources for example if you are creating any ec2 instances or if you are creating any s3 bucket or if you are uploading some objects this is a way where uh, we can you know uh, understand the usage of the services for example if i you know i am using this uh, s3 service and i am trying to upload i am trying to uh, upload some objects under this bucket okay right? so if i say that i belong to a team called engineering then okay. if anyone if if you know if somebody looks into this object and if they see some tag then okay this particular object has uploaded by engineering team it will be very much easier way to to get to know who has operated on this particular object right and for that let's say project so there is a engineering team okay uh, this team belongs to which project i'll say this law whatever right so this is let's say this is my project and this under this project engineering team has uh, they have uh, uploaded this particular object so which means so we are trying to add additional information 
about the operations which we are performing metadata talks about a data itself a tag we are using to to you know to create more visibility on your commits or on your buckets or on your uh, object do you see my point so if we give tag so it will be easier to identify the operations and also for example even you know uh, in sometimes we may see uh, uh, the bucket charges uh, whatever the data we we have uploaded as bucket as object so this has reached the maximum and we got very huge very huge uh, billing at the end of the month then what i will do i should have some mechanism to check which team has performed more operations in this particular month so this is the only way where i can identify uh who has uploaded this particular object so by referring i'll come to know by referring some tag if i make this option you know usage of this particular tag mandatory one then each and every one who was supposed to upload some object they should enter this tag then i will have a clarity on on the teams who are using the AWS services. Right. So this is how uh, you know tags will take a vital role in your AWS career. So you must have a clarity on the tag, and each tag will define some sort of you know kind of a clarifications, so that we'll have more visibility on the S3 operations. Forget about S3. So tags uh, belong to each and every services in AWS. So with the help of this. you can you know customize and you can reorder your things and you can monitor which will help us to monitor your usage as well right so this is about tags any questions satishta kavita bharat darsho ran bhargavi any questions here or are we good with respect to metadata answer so let me summarize metadata are the data of your data so you are trying to explain something with the help of your metadata metadata you are trying to explain about your object with the help of the tag you are just trying to help uh, operation teams to have a visibility on your work a visibility of your object if you are uploading right so here let's say if you are giving this kind of information then it will be very much easier to understand okay this particular engineer team has uploaded this particular object let's say it's a huge object and which is uh, it is causing some issues then i can clearly come and talk to my engineering team right so i know uh, who is the owner of this particular bucket so i can easily track this kind of thing so this is the use uses of tag so that's all i have for today